In today's episode, we're in North Carolina exploring an abandoned mountaintop theme park known as Ghost Town in the Sky. The park opened in 1961 and was home to a Wild West village, live gunfight shows, games, shopping, and even a roller coaster. Over the years, attendance at Ghost Town began to decline and the park became more and more dilapidated as it fell behind on maintenance. 2002 would mark the park's last year of consistent operation and 2009 would be the last year the park was fully functioning. Since then, there have been multiple changes of ownership and attempts to save the park, but none of these would ever come to fruition. Now, join us as we venture to the decaying park to discover what remains. This video is brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends. Raid is a free, high quality, fantasy turn-based RPG game. This is a perfect game for when you're trying to kill time and not be bored. The game's campaign has an in-depth story and there are always updates that add new content. For the next 30 days, new players get 200,000 silver and one free powerful champion using the links in the description. So we've never done a mobile game ad before and I had my reservations about it, but Raid Shadow Legends really is the perfect time waster. Um, I spent about an hour just playing the game when I should have been editing and recording. So it's super addicting and there's many different game modes to play and different characters to play with. So in the character screen, there's hundreds of different characters called champions and different combinations per characters with these different level ups. You can um, upgrade different aspects of the character and so on. You can level up the actual characters by sacrificing other champions. So the real action really happens in this battle area. In the clan boss mode, you fight with your teammates against the boss characters, but I'm not in a clan. In the arena, you fight directly against other players, so these are real players and they're champions that are set up for this battle. The campaign is the in-depth story mode, it has the full story, it has a voiceover and everything. The dungeons you fight against 10 different bosses and win new artifacts that help your champions become stronger. So these are the items you use to level up your characters. Overall, the game is super addicting, super fun, and always changing. For only the next 30 days, new players get 200,000 silver and one free powerful champion using the links in the description. And thanks to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring the channel and making future videos possible. There is a service road that leads to Ghost Town, but we've heard several instances of other explorers being caught by trying to access the park that way. Therefore, we decided to hike straight up the mountain, along the path of the chairlift and cable car that once carried guests to the park. So we're back here again for try number two. Last time, Brian got sick as we were nearing the top. Started vomiting on the trail. But now, we're determined to make it. We've got Ryan here with us today from Bannon, New England. And yeah, it's gonna be a full send. We've already come up this far, but as you can see, we still have a really long way to go. And it gets a lot steeper up there. Brian's over here taking a sit, taking a load off. We're about halfway up, but it gets a lot steeper from here, so the going will still be tough. How much water do you guys have? I'm down to half a bottle already. Okay. I'm down to, to a third. Because we have to come down, down too. To come down. Yeah. Coming down shouldn't be as much water. It should just be more sore on our legs. Yeah. Yeah, I have a third left. I want to pace yourself. And it's off. I should have brought two each. Or just or a bigger, a bigger one. Yeah. Introduce yourself. I'm Ryan. I'm a band in New England. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to tag it like right here anyways. So yeah. I don't know why you even just made me say it. <laughs> just because it would be awkward. It's awkward know? anyways now. Got to make you look awkward in the video. Well, she's on the 
That's gonna get a million yeah. views. I know it is. You, you just found me along the trail. I was just taking a nap. <laughs> no, this dude looks like we just found him along the trail. <laughs> I live here. <laughs> it's my home. It's my living. It's 1.15, we started this at noon. Holy shit, I can't believe it's been an hour and 15 already. I uh, see roller coaster. It's the first time we've seen the track since we started the track. We think we hear voices coming from the top also, so we're gonna try to come up sneakily so that we'll see whoever's up there before they see us. A fucking white truck down there. I don't think you're gonna see it with this lens. But he is way down there. He stopped right in front. The guy is still sitting down there. There's a guy at the bottom, and there's a white car that came earlier. Yeah, he might like be at the top. In front might have seen us, and I think they have the corner one at the top, one at the bottom. But we're not, we're not sure. Let's take a peek up there, but they might see us from down there. If we can we could just try to wait like another 15 minutes and see if the truck at the bottom leaves. This place is a bitch. It's not a fun climb. So it's raining now and the fucking truck is still there. But it's getting really cold and wet. So we're just gonna go to the park so we can hopefully get indoors staying down because he has a pretty good view of us. What do you think? Just go? Okay. He can't see us here. Something Emporium Food and Retail. Looks pretty dead here. Don't see anyone from where we're at. This left hill is literally not even straight. You can see it's warped. This coaster wasn't built by a very well-known manufacturer, so it was probably this janky from the beginning. The train for the coaster is still here. It's literally as cold as it could possibly be right now without it being snow. 
really sucks. Why do they have one kind of car that's completely different? Maybe that's an older one. These cars look pretty janky. Yeah. They're just platforms with seats bolted to them. Did you know they actually remodeled this coaster? I don't know the exact story with this coaster, but I think it was something like they remodeled it for a couple million dollars and it operated for one day when they reopened the park before they discovered there were still major issues with it. And yeah, it sat abandoned even while the rest of the park was still open. But the rest of the park got abandoned shortly after that. Didn't this place stay open for a while, then close and reopen and it's close been again? Open and several times. Yeah. yeah. There's still snow on the ground over here. Old timey fire truck. It's like a work truck, fire truck, old fire truck style thing. You got a dude over here. Don't know Pipes. who that is. They attach their fire hoses here. It's a GMC, okay. The build date for this is 1927, and the maximum speed is 35 miles per hour. Pretty cool. Oh man, look at all this shit growing on the seats here. It's a pretty simplistic station. I think we'll be okay. This place looks like a ghost town, pun intended. This coaster is really interesting because it starts with the first drop and the lift hill is all the way at the end of it. All the moss growing on this catwalk is kind of crazy. So, Ryan thinks he heard something from up the mountain, and he really doesn't want to get caught. So we're going to go up first and be the guinea pigs. And then if you guys get caught, I'll film. Okay. Because then they'll be distracted. Yeah. The coaster was called Cliffhanger. That's wind, right? Yeah. It's hard because the rain and the wind sound like they could be cars. Yeah. The wind coming over the mountain makes a creepy noise. 
And we're basically in the clouds. Yeah. It's definitely a vibe. It's a mood. They've definitely been doing some shit up here. Clearing out some trees. We're taking this back way. So hopefully if there is anyone here, we will see them before they see us. A lot of climbing today. They had a little train ride. This looks awesome in the fog. There's a portable toilet. That's usually a sign of construction. And there are tire tracks through here. How ironic, a place called Ghost Town turns into a ghost town, for real. Yeah, it's like they cursed themselves with that name. Well, wipe your feet. This literally looks still used. This is weird. I don't feel like this is abandoned. Everything's made of logs in here, even the cross. Just logs. It's so clean. Yeah. I found that shit. Too clean. Imagine security rolls by and we're just chilling here. We're just good Christian boys. Hopefully it's just Ryan. There's no way these doors are usually just left open like this. Because it would be way more decayed in here. The lock is it's just blown off. perfect. Look, the, wait, where the place where the padlock closes on the left door is just blown off. Really? Someone might have broken it off recently. Yeah. Doesn't this seem not even abandoned? What? Doesn't this seem not even abandoned? The doors were open when we got here to the church. Did you see the walking path? Yeah. It looks from the park benches. It looks like they just like flipped them over and left for the season. Yeah. They just never reopened. Someone blew the lock off this. Wow, the fog it's has already off. rolled out. Let's check out the Red Dog Saloon. Saloon. The chairs in here. These are what someone might call just chilling. Dude, it looks like someone was just cleaning in here the other day. But the mirrors are all smashed. Yeah. These aren't very old timey. There's literally a pole center stage. 
I didn't expect it to be so detailed and here I thought it was gonna be like really cheesy. It's cheesy, but it's not like really cheesy, you know? They literally just left everything here. They closed for one season and just never reopened. And surprisingly not vandalized. I mean the windows, the glass in the windows are broken, but whatever. No cussing. No horses in the saloon. No sleeping under tables. No pinching of no pinching of dancers. <laughs> That's a rule. Right, let's see what's backstage. It's like not even a real backstage. Oh, Just a small little hallway. Dressing room or something back here. Yeah, this is Miro. Wow, this is so crazy. Ew, they kiss the wall. Oh my god, and I'm fucking touching it. <laughs> Let there be lips. This is fucking disgusting. The wall of Jennifer's lips. Oh my god. So it was probably all the same girl. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is a really cramped dressing room. It's a bit of mold in here too. Oh, yeah. There's water pooling up in the light. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This I don't is like get really depressing having to be down here. I'm getting out of here. <sighs> Do not kick door or it won't open. Oh, is it boarded shut from the inside? No. It's Give just... it a good. Put your shoulder into it. It must have always been jammed because that's why it says do not kick door. Yeah. Let's check out across the street. It's a much uglier restaurant. Now this is the level of tacky that I was kind of expecting from this place. Yeah. It's an ice cream parlor. If you're going for an Old West theme and you have drop ceiling, I'm sorry, but you lose. Yeah. You're disqualified. <laughs> Even the dry erase boards were, are still, still have the specials and stuff on it. At least this walkway is covered. set up like a prison. <laughs> yeah. Wanted, dead or alive. Oh, it was probably like a photo thing because they have the printer right here. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, probably. Um, like what happened to their heads? Oh, good question. Uh... Oh my god. There's like shredded pieces of this guy's face on the floor. Someone smashed him. That's creepy. This is kind of gross because it looks like real hair. This thing is creepy. This is just on the floor over here. Come check this out. <laughs> this is scary. What the fuck? <laughs> That's some scary shit. It's like a clown. I don't even know. We're in like a backstage area now. 
fridge. Freezers, yeah, fridges. We should find one of these bumper stickers and put it on the car. <laughs> okay, let's go straight here. That's just an emergency light, right? Yeah, it's just reflecting. Yeah, I'm just being super paranoid because I know people do get caught here. Oh, this is an office with a rack of amplifiers. It's a lot of stuff in here. Some speakers. These are actually pretty good. JBL monitors. Is was set up like a recording something or there's Yeah, it feels kinda of soundproof in here. There's a uh, wireless mic system in there. They had equalizers and mixers over here. This was probably managing the whole park's audio system. Look at this. Trackless, silver dollar saloon show, no Joe. This seems to be a good working order, but feel free to stick in a piano song. Can can was very different from how I do it. Look, there's stage lights here. It's a strobe. Oh my god. What? Ghost Town Weekend Show. I kind of want to listen to this. Do you think it'll work? Also, I've seen the name Digger everywhere. It said don't kick the door. That means you digger. Yeah. Tim was sparky. Patrick was Digger. They must have had a pretty small career. They knew everyone's names. They had nicknames. Ghost Town USA Weekend Show. Here's another one. Weekday Show. Monday through Thursday. Here you can can. I don't think it's a recording of the show. It's probably just their backing music. I had like a whole... They probably just managed all the sound of the park in here. Yeah. And this was their workshop for getting it to sound right and mess with the speakers. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's in here real quick. Arcade. Oh, wow. Actual machines. These look pretty old. Yo guys, Brian Strappin. Alright, let's call the judge and get some fudge. Fresh fudge. It's the fudge maker right here. Yeah, it's a fudge maker. <laughs> you pour it out. It's a little cramped in here. Yeah. Is that some spooky shit right there on there? Or is this just a shadow making it spooky? This place is full of spooky shit. Nah, it's just a shadow. That thing looks spooky for a second in the dark. I'll see. <laughs> it kind of looks like a thing sitting there. Yeah, it looks spooky. <laughs> Ghost Town Bank. Sealed. Maybe there's a back way. Look at that brand new excavator they have there. Oh, they wow, were definitely looks, using that recently. Looking new. Climb through the window. Oh, is that some spooky shit? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna step inside just it's pouring. We can get in this way.
an office full of shit. This might be the barber shop. Yeah, this is the barber shop scene. Yeah, so you can't touch them. You think they'd give you like ghost town dollars here that you could spend? Probably something along park. those lines. It's an old looking typewriter back there. This actually looks like a real antique. It definitely was. Same for these typewriters. Works, but they get stuck up. This one looks really old. Looks like they had cards for um, each character they had around. So the tracker, just the character they had going around the park. Yep, his height, his job, his horse name, how many banks he's robbed. Alright, let's cross over to the saloon. Yeah, they've been doing shit here very recently. Wow. This one's nice. Yeah, this is probably the best room in the place. A lot of water coming through. Are these for eating? Like if it was a dinner show? There are so many working pianos here. It might be a record. A bando record. a really neat looking door. Yeah. Ooh. Red shit. Where is it coming from? That curtain. There's something like directly under the door. Check this room out. Okay, that's a better dressing room than the other building. It smells like a spirit Halloween in here. It does. <laughs> Yeah. 
Hey, the Grand Patrick Rufus is out of bullets. What would you like for him to do? Dynamite! Oh, man, you don't want us all, Okay, you ready? I'm ready. All right, now get it. You gonna blow up all those? Well, away then. So misty here, wow. Whew. All the stuffed animals hanging up there. Do you think this would be an acceptable gift for my girlfriend? What happened? I said, do you think this would be an acceptable gift for my girlfriend? <laughs> I mean, she's into bandos, so... No, I just like it's a nice like thing she could sleep with when I'm not around. It's pretty creepy how they're all just hanging. A clown toss. She thought you in there. <laughs> oh, there's a ski ball. Oh. Clowns. Of course, it's clowns. Oh, come on. Let's put the ski ball. Oh. There's a bunch of them down there. Yeah. I don't want to go into that cesspool again. Okay. At least they're not hanging by their necks. It's essential. Essentially what they're doing. String them up. Like puppets. <laughs> Alright, let's keep moving. This place would be a trip at night. I know. We literally just left the power ship on the ground and took the rest of it. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> How was the rest of that worth money but the pirate ship wasn't? barely even see the part of the park we just came from. This place was like 50% restaurants. Nah, it's like 40% restaurant, 30% gift shop, and the rest is everything else. And the rest is shows. This was their shuttle. They're so creepy. Are these like the rocket fire explosion? They look just band? like them. They look just like it. It says speed fire right here on the drum. So probably the same kind of setup. Same guy probably. Probably made the it. same guy who made it. Yeah. This monkey though. Yeah, the way the eyes are, you can just tell it's the same guy. 
the same guy who did Chuck E. Cheese and Rocky Fire, or Rocky Fire Explosion. All of our viewers need to go to <laughs> YouTube and type in Rocky Fire Explosion, you know, whatever. Whatever song you <laughs> what want. Whatever song you want, yeah. They got Lil Wayne up there, anyway. And there's a control system right here with the pneumatics. There's a pneumatic controller. You think there's, there's a body in here? Oh yeah, there's something in here. <laughs> there's probably some dude probably that- Probably another animatronic. Yeah, it was just right up front. Literally, yes. We it feels like up. another animatronic. <laughs> they drag him up. Yeah. This is, oh, that's the guitar. There he is. Oh my God. It's moldy in there. They light it up. It's a horse. Or a thing. I don't know what that is. Some kind of a creature. <laughs> it's a creature, all right. Body bag? In the He's body literally bag. wrapped up like a body bag. <laughs> what animal is it? Like a dog or a horse or something? A wolf, maybe? A wolf? Looks like Daffy. So creepy. The eyelids are shut. Wait, 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 wait. Open them up, open them up. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, did, they did they scalp him? Look at the back of his head. Yeah, it looks like there's it's Close separating right here. Uh -huh. His mouth opens right here. Uh -huh. <laughs> Leave him so open weird. I believe that's called defacing a corpse. <laughs> Here's the control unit. Oh, there's more back here. Brian, there's more. There's more. They're on spinners. They could bring out the alternates. Who comes up front? This dude's giving me the side eye. This one's giving me the side eye. Let's see these. Oh, look at this guy. Oh. oh. Don't step on it. Can we spin it around? Oh my god. Just rotate the whole thing. This is like my worst nightmare. Oh, oh it's real. <laughs> oh, there's no eyes. There are eyes. There They're just there. deep. <laughs> They're deep. Yeah. I don't think it wants to spin any further. Oh, there we go. Go the other direction. Just go all the way around. Spin them around. Hell no. Oh my god. The actual mechanism is pretty janky. It's just like a shopping cart wheel. It sounds like a shopping cart that squeak. It probably only spun 180 degrees each way, because that's yeah. all they needed it to. Alright, after finding these guys. It's finally time for us to head out, make our way back down the mountain in the cold, wet rain. The future of Ghost Town in the Sky is still in limbo. There were vague reports in late 2019 suggesting that there was a party interested in purchasing the park, but it's unclear if anything ever came to fruition. With the world currently facing a global pandemic, it seems unlikely that anyone would be willing to reopen a failed theme park anytime soon. <laughs>